hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel once again in this video i'll just um i just want to share with you a strategy i sorry an analysis i made on crash 500 which you can learn from um from what i have on your screen i expect the market to sell massively to the downside um you know this time time and i expect a breakout from this um um supportive trend line first i want to see a, a good breakout and proper retest then the market will be selling to the downside I expect the market to sell go below this um, um, key level 15 minute uh, time frame key level no one only time frame key level and sell massively to the downside because the market has been buying for a while now okay so let me just I think I should wipe off this um, setup and then show you how I got here how I got to, um, to I got this prediction you know so let me just clear the chat and um, so you can learn from my simple analysis all right so first of all i had to go to the weekly time frame as usual to see where the market is currently at and then from what i can see here on the weekly time frame the market has been bearish for a very long time the market has been bearish for a very long in fact i think this should be since the inception of um, crash 500 has been bearish and um you can see if we draw um a trend line you can see it's bearish you know so what we need to do what i needed to do was to look at the possible uh, structure of the market and you can see the market has been creating highs and lows sorry it's so lower highs and lower lows this is the most recent lower high while um this is the recent lower low i think the market is trying to pull back um in some way to create a another lower high and I think the lower high should come up around this level here. We will have between the 50.0 level and the 61.8 level using this Fibonacci retracement tool. So um, that's not even actually the issue because it will take a whole lot of time. You know, we are on the weekly time frame. So before the market would actually get to this particular price where we expect the retracement or the, the new lower high to be created, if the market still wants to go down, this, uh, this is a weekly time frame. So it will take... Uh, months to take more than two months and be, besides this is crash not um crash and it is it needs to buy you know if it is um, actually selling to create a lower load then we believe that can happen um sooner than buying all right so all i had to do was just to mark out the key levels on this um time frame on this uh, weekly time frame so i saw a key level right here and i marked it out there's a key level right here very strong key level you see the market button sold around this key level here and i have seen another key level right here let me just duplicate this and place it right you can see market bought and sold around this let me take out this um i want to see what i do later i can shed it if i want okay so market bought and sold around this region So you can see the market button so, so that's another key level on the weekly time frame you can see the buys at this point and you can see the sales market sold first retested then sold again massively to the downside so now market is almost approaching where it sold previously and based on price action we expect the market to do what it had done previously in, um on its own well what it did previously you can see the market was uh, market sold previously on this zone so it, there's a very high chance the market is going to sell from here guys so there's a very high chance the market can sell down from that point so at this point i have to just um go down to the daily time frame though this line this rectangle here seems to be too thick uh, too large uh, because if we go down to a lower time frame it will be a very large some uh, rectangle then can reduce it a little can reduce it all right so let's go down to the Let's go down to the daily time frame to look at what we have there. Let's go to the daily time frame to see what we have there. All right, so on the daily time frame, this is the daily time frame. We can see the areas we actually marked, and you can see where we marked is correct. Although, if you ever mark anything, any do any markup or like you draw a trend line or draw a key level or resistance line on a higher time frame when you go to a lower time frame confirm that where you actually drill was correct like this one here is correct you see else i would have adjusted it 
But you see this one is correct. It was a buy here, buy here, buy here. Although it tried to fake out a little, then came down, fake out a little, then continued. The buys here is even far more than, um, um, you know, the buys and the sells here are more than just a few fake outs, you know. So this is a good place to, uh, a good area to place the horizontal, um, the rectangle, you know, mark up our key level there. All right. And based on um my the way we trade you know what we're supposed to be concerned we're supposed to be concerned with the current structure inside of the market which is this you can see the current structure formed by the market the market has been bullish the market has been bullish for a very long time the market has been bullish since um we can look at it let me just place this um trend line properly then we will check how long the market has been buying all right this trend line has been properly fit there why i decided to put it here is because market bought from here here there was a little fake out but the market still came back in and bought market bought again from here and also bought again from here all right guys so the next thing we want to do the next thing you want to do is to place another trend line as a supportive trend line so I'll put one right here and that's perfect guys that is very perfect now let me adjust and put it properly miss let me try to zoom in to see if i can place it properly okay all right so that is it so that is it so now this is the current structure of the market and this is the daily time frame the next thing we want to do is to mark out the key levels i want to mark out the key level on this daily time frame so and like i used to tell you i'm always more concerned about the key levels that are closer to the current price so on the current price here we can see there was a level somewhere here where market sold and also bought here you can see market sold from here and also bought from here so there's a strong level at this point so i would want to draw my trend line to my key level right here on a daily time frame that's a key level right there market button sold at this point just to put it properly all right so we expect market to react on getting back to this particular level here all right and now let's go down to the to the daily time to the what time from okay this is the daily time frame let's go down to the early time for early time frame all right so you can see this level we marked here on the on the daily time frame it really shows it really um shows here better you can see market sold from here retested and still sold again from this place the market came broke above came back and retested and bought to the upside so we expect a market to react again on getting to this particular uh, level uh, the next time it gets there and now that the market is actually buying we can also find there's another structure here or you can just let's look for another key level here on the daily on the four hourly time frame so that we can mark it out there's a key level somewhere around here there's a, a key level somewhere around there but it seems not to be too clear on this time frame i think we need to go to the one hourly time frame so we can see that um key level properly and whichever structure it has all right, so this is the level right here. You can see this is a key level. Let me put this um, line right here. This is the key level right here. So you can see market actually sold from here. Market sold from here. And on getting back to this place, it, it did a kind of retest, then went up, broke out, came back and retested here. You know now let me show you one thing guys i would have decided to put this thing right here and i can call this a key level i can call this a key level because market sold from here sold and you see so then bought again but the reason i decided not to put it there is because this particular movement if you look at when market moved from here when market moved from this particular zone the target is here and when market move from this zone the target the target is here so this particular level here is just a level in between meanwhile the main movement of the market if it comes from this particular zone is here and the main movement of the market if it comes from this zone is here you understand so this that is why i have decided to put this particular kill um, a rectangle at this point to mark out this particular key level 
that is it i don't you don't just place it wherever you see market buy and sell it must be where you because now if i want to enter a trade right here at this point maybe i want to i see a sell confirmation my target will be here because then you know, the market must will most likely come to this particular um low here or zone here you know the same thing applies to here if you buy here your target should be here so that's the key level guys all right so now let's um see what we have in the market if i try to zoom in or zoom out a little you can see there is a structure somewhere here and there is another key level somewhere here on this one early time frame there's another key level but this level will be mostly uh, most appreciated excuse me on the 15 minutes time frame there's a key level at this point so let me just remove it first because i've seen a structure the same thing i showed you when i started this video you can see there's a structure right here there's a structure right here one moment while i draw this you can see this particular movement right here Mark the market has done and um we have if i duplicate this and decide to put here we will see that there is something like this right here in the so now you can see that the market uh, is moving in a kind of a pattern this pattern will be more evident when we go to the one early time to, to the 15 minutes time frame you can see the pattern the market is moving and also there was a strong resistance zone at the top on the 15 on the one uh, the weekly time frame there was a key level maybe i should try to go back there and then look at it here i don't know why it's not showing on that um weekly time frame on the 15 minutes time frame even on the early time frame is not showing let me look for another color to fill it and i'll save no i have to fill it i want to fill it okay all right i think that's better is it too deep let me just um look for a lighter color something like this is okay okay better all right so when i get to the 15 minutes or the okay that's it on the one early time frame it's not displaying but there's a know that there's a strong zone just around this particular point here let me show you the the market is directly below a strong zone is almost at the it has almost touched the zone so there's a strong um there's a strong um evidence that the market might want to sell from that point considering this structure that we are having here on the one early time frame this structure is a kind of a, a, an ascending wage that in, indicates a possible change in direction of the market and the fact the market has gotten to this strong key level then there's a very high chance that the market is going to sell but we do, you don't you don't have to sell yet until there's a breakout from this supportive trend line here that forms the lower part of the wage so uh, the ascending wage so let's go to the 15 minutes time frame and confirm let's go to the 15 minutes time frame and look at the stuff there you see on the 15 minutes time frame we have this um structure here we have um this same um wage you can see it here and it's a very long one guys and i have this particular level right here which i would expect the market to react to on getting on spiking down when the market breaks out when the market breaks out of that trend line there and um one moment when the market breaks out of this trend line this particular sorry guys for moving up and down all right so the once the market breaks out of this trend line i expect a kind of a reaction here but it's not going to that be that strong the reaction might have to get to this level this is the actual place i would want to see a reaction you know yes so the market gets here it might want to react then come back a kind of a reversal comes back to retest any level somewhere here somewhere here i expect market to retest this particular level here if it breaks out at this come if it hits here and breaks out i expect a, a retest at this level if the market retest here with a strong confirmation that it's going to sell guys you will see massive sales to the downside the sales will be massive all these zones that i'm marking are just zones to 
for the market to react to you know there might be a little bias to the upside but we'll still come back to break the spike will still come down to break this zone and go far below the market will still sell might even get to this level here so if you can monitor the chart and wait for the breakout depending on when you will see this video i promise you you'll make some cool cash so imagine let's say you enter the market at this point this crash 500 let's say you enter the market at this point with a let's say lot size of let me not use 3.0 let's use a lot size let's say um maybe two let's use two two doesn't require much money two only requires about 30 dollars or so then you enter the trade with losses of two at this point guys then you can see that your first take profit around is around must be around this point that's about 55 dollars then if it gets to this point over 100 dollars then if you can hold it down this is over 200 dollars per profit guys i am confident about this setup because the market is has actually gotten to a weekly key level a strong resistance area that the market can easily react and do uh, coupled with this um structure that is forming right here so there is a very high chance the market is going to sell so just be on the lookout don't enter a trade until you have a confirmation guys so that's why i can i got this analysis you can be practicing this kind of things do it on other pairs do this on other pairs and get used to it once you're able to master this um market analysis simple um technical analysis in the market price action it makes you um you have a chance to be profitable guys you have a chance to be always profitable i don't i do not mean you won't be losing trades you can be losing trades but you you will always be profitable you know your losses will, your, will be too small compared to your um wins so that's that is it guys that's it guys so there's a, a, a link in the description of this video that you can contact you can click on to get to my telegram channel where i post information about events and um sometimes very high probability setups which you can benefit from and there is um when you get there you'll find a link to contact me directly i have discovered that some some persons have trouble contacting me um with um the account i provided there i've had another account telegram account that you can use to contact me in that um telegram channel once you get there so you have to contact me if you need um a private mentorship one-on-one -on -one mentorship so that i will guide you through because it's not about watching these videos like i used to say you might need somebody to guide you stop watching videos and trying to fund your accounts just by watching the videos except you are able to practice these things by yourself on your demo account practice them on your demo account first see that you are profitable on your demo account before you go into start trading with your real money but if you want to go fast and you know it will take you time if you want to do these things by yourself it will take you time but if you want to understand these things quickly then you need somebody to guide you because there's another thing that says if you want to go far go with somebody but if you want to go fast go alone but in the aspect of trading if you want to go far if you really want to succeed easily you need somebody to guide you and also take note that the person guiding you does not guarantee your success in trading all the all what what guarantees your success is you is you you are the person that guarantee that will guarantee your success if you put in the work if you are asked to do things you are showing things then you practice them you know that's why you need a mentor somebody to guide you ask you to do things and you do them the way you've been instructed then you will succeed you know so you will stop blowing your account you stop giving money to derive that's the essence of um, getting a good mentorship so you need to contact me as soon as you can so that i will put you through and there is um an update i'll be posting in the youtube channel I, I sorry that telegram channel i think that should be maybe later today today is monday 25th of um, march i think later today i'll post an information there so try to be there see um the information might be beneficial to you so um stay tuned meanwhile please like this video comment i want to want to get your thoughts then um also subscribe to this channel do not just watch the video without subscribing if you've not done that yet Try to subscribe when you subscribe and you like these videos you encourage me you encourage me to do more because i know this is something you would at least get some value from you understand and there are some persons that are looking for this information once you like this video the youtube algorithm now shares it um this video and makes it available to people that are looking for this kind of information so they can see and benefit from it guys so just um encourage me by liking it and doing all those things so that we keep growing guys we want to grow and um make money together see you guys in my next video Peace out.